डॉक्टर नरेंद्र जाधव जी थैंक यू डेप्यूटी चेयरमैन सर एट द वेरी आउटसेट आई कॉन्ग्रेचुलेट ऑनरेबल फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर फॉर ब्रिंगिंग इन द इंसॉल्वेंसी एंड बैक्ट्रप्सी कोड अमेंडमेंट बिल टू सर there is no doubt that these amendments will give greater amount of clarity uh, in the existing framework so i wish to make three comments my first comment is that this bill strengthens the provisions related to time limits it sets a 330 day time limit to complete the entire corporate insolvency resolution process this time limit would have the positive impact of uh, making the entire corporate insolvency resolution process time bound this proposed amendment is welcome and indeed commendable since it ensures the insolvency process is conducted swiftly and interests of creditors and employees of the corporate body are protected the second point that i want to make sir is that this 200 2019 amendment bill seeks to cure some of the shortcomings that existed in the 2018 act this bill prescribes that all the financial creditors represented by the same authorized uh, representative would be considered as a group and authorized representative would have to cast one vote on behalf of all financial creditors that he or she represents this proposed amendment would have the effect of ensuring that the resolution plan is more acceptable to the committee of creditors sir honorable member kapil sibal ji eloquently argued that this amendment uh, does not go far enough but he also confessed that the direction is right sir in my view this amendment is certainly a very important step forward and as it was explained to us uh, by the finance minister 3 lakh crores have already gotten back so if need be further amendment further improvements can always be done and that should not be the reason not to approve this amendment i commend this bill sir and i commend the honorable finance minister for this uh, much needed amendment and recommend the bill for the passage thank you thank, thank you, you dr nanjal ji